Hey guys, welcome to Offshoot Comics Off Topic. We're your host, Kirby Kid. And with a heavy heart, Black Superman. <laughs> also known as David Clark. <laughs> and Walter Bryant. <laughs> this is the Tomino, creator of Gundam Hates Attack on Titan video. <laughs> Obviously, we're not thrilled. Well, I'm fine. He's not. I'm dying. And, and, and I have a heavy heart because... I died on the inside. I, I, I'm losing a brother <laughs> to the to, uh, okay, of Titan here. Let me explain to you how important Gundam is to me. I remember... A couple years ago, Anime Expo, they 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 had an anime panel. It it was on something, and this one like the the speaker, you know, he made a, like a, a a joke. He's like, it'd be like asking if anyone's ever seen every episode of every Gundam out there. It's impossible. And I raised my, I, it was like a thousand people in the room, right? I was in the back. I raised my hand. I'm like, I have. He's like, okay, that one guy has. But besides that one guy, no, I, mean, I have seen it all. I had the Xeon flag by my bed. It'll be over my casket when I'm when I'm buried. Like it's, I, I started watching uh, Gundam when I was eight. I was a Gundam fan before I, I saw anything DC. Before I saw anything Marvel. Before I watched any of the anime, it was Gundam first. And now the man who made that has told me I am wrong for loving Titan, <laughs> which. He must be right. He basically said in an interview, or not an interview, on, on his own page, that um, he believes the Titan is basically, basically just poorly drawn murder porn. And uh, that a writer shouldn't get too personally involved. Because he, 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 he knows that uh, Isayama's, you know, had bull problems being bullied and whatever, and he put it all into the book. And he thinks that he shouldn't have gotten that personally involved in it because it just doesn't work out well. Well, okay. That is exactly the opposite of what every other writing instructor I've ever had has told me. You're supposed to get personally involved, and you know once it becomes personal to you, the characters come to life and they're very easy to write. But they also become personal to other people, which right. is what's happened with Titan. Everyone loves Titan because, to a certain degree, those of us who are who have been bullied and have survived the bullying have gone. Yeah, I felt like that. Now, you and I, we might have started out tiny. Like we're you're taller anymore. than I am, but we're not we're not tiny guys anymore. So there came a point where bullies went, "Oh crap, yeah, that was a bad idea." That's not a good idea. I'm yeah, gonna leave him alone. <laughs> <laughs> and that's basically what he's writing into Titan is that that whole okay, yeah, we were bullied, but that was really a bad idea. Basically, he's an emo. He hurts himself and becomes stronger. <laughs> Oh wow! Yeah, I hadn't thought about it. That like was that. deep. That, I was, that, that, that right was, now. That was deep. Yeah, that was. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, that was so live. <laughs> that was live right there. <laughs> but okay, um, we were talking before, and I'm gonna give the Americans who are watching us a, 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 a little, a little bit of an analogy here. Okay, about a year and a half, two years ago, there was this rapper. His name is Soldier Boy. Y'all remember him, Soulja Boy? You may, you may not yeah. remember him. Yeah, that guy. Okay, Soldier Boy was called out by Ice T. Ice T, you know, old school rapper who, who like was rapping when I was little. He's on Longer SVU. Yeah. Okay, he said Soldier Boy is garbage, and Soldier Boy did a 15 minute video basically making fun of Ice T for calling him out. Where's Soldier Boy? Ice T is still on TV every week. <laughs> Yeah. Channel 4, 10 o'clock on Wednesday. <laughs> I believe Ice-T proved his point. And his yeah. point was, boy, I am I am what you want to be. Exactly. <laughs> and and see, I know a lot of people, a lot of the new fans who are, and I found this on, on a lot of forums, people who don't know what Gundam is, um, people who are, who are who are new to the anime scene, who, who, who skipped out on all that greatness, um, saying that Tomino is just trying to be relevant, that he's an old man, that he's, uh, he's jealous. And... And I, I took offense to that because, mm -hmm. like, like I said, I like compared to Gundam. I like Titan. Mm -hmm. I love Gundam. There's a difference. And Tomino was here before. He's here now, and he'll be here long after Titan is is over. Mm -hmm. Which is, I mean, I like Titan, but that's just the facts. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, because I mean they've debated on whether or not to, you know, build a Gundam in Parliament. You know, which I I know was just to get the Otaku vote, but they did it. I don't see anything else being done like that. It has its own life size statue, other little mini statues, it had a hotel, a theme park, I mean and it's been out since the since the seventies. And he, he made his own genre of anime. Yeah, and that's that's the thing. Like I mean, no joke. You can go back and you can look at the history of certain characters. Like, um Superman. Okay. 
I don't care what new thing you created. Like, like um, Image Comics in the 90s were really big. Mm -hmm. And people were talking about how Image Comics was coming away and they were blowing away Marvel and DC. I don't see anything new from Image Comics mm -hmm. happening on TV, nope. in the movies. Nowhere. Superman's bigger now than he has ever been. Yeah. I don't like Superman, but he'll be here long after many things are going. <laughs> yeah. You know, the Incredible Hulk, Captain America, Batman, they're not going anywhere. Mm. Now, does anybody remember all the Wildcats, aside from me? Okay, I don't even know now, Wildcats now, the, the Wildcats actually were bought by DC Comics, and so Grifter is actually still out there. I don't know anything by Image Comics right now. And Image Comics is still there. So, we're talking about Attack on Titan, which I love, and Gundam, I know nothing about. But I've known Gundam mm -hmm. my whole life. And you will continue to know it. And I will continue to know Gundam <laughs> my whole life. Titan, 10 years from now, may not ever cross my mind again. Yeah. Gu Gundam is like Star Trek and Star Wars, Lord of the Rings. These are things that are just part of the world now. Yeah. And unless an alien race comes, doesn't like it, and destroys everything, it's going to be here forever. They may not destroy it. They may be like, this is pretty good. <laughs> like, no. like we will keep Superman, the Hulk, and Gundam. Now and the rest of it can go. You know, well, we'll see. Titan may have that kind of staying power, depending on how they want to develop it now, because the ending is going to be changed. They may leave it open. They may want to be a, make it a cash cow. I think I still think he wants to kill it in like in like a hundred issues. Though. I mean, but he's got options though. I mean, because like if you if you look at it, the the first episode of Attack on Titan is called "To You, Two Thousand Years in the Future," mm -hmm. which clearly means. He's left it open for something else. Mm -hmm. He may want to end Attack on Titan because he's got something else in that same world along the timeline. Maybe you know um, they have options that they want to make it long running. Um, if they, but you won't see it. I have to tell you about it. No, no. See, here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. <laughs> Ten on a technicality, on a loophole, Tomino said he didn't like the manga because it was poorly drawn and murder porn. He never technically specifically called out the anime. So I think he's gonna do it now just because you brought it up, right? Like I feel like if I'm watching it, like Tony was watching, he's like, mm, he can't buy Gundam stuff anymore. <laughs> but I mean, now I mean, he, he gave it some, he gave it some praise, you know, you know, it's, it's it, I mean, it, it is doing good. Like you know, people think he's hating. He's not hating. He's he's hard on himself and everybody. Like if he was just only hard on other people who were doing good, you know, whatever. But he's he's not doing bad. I mean, he's not Grant Morrison. Which he's been compared to since this has come out. <laughs> um, I mean, but he, he he's doing really good. Uh, Gundam is still in the you know like I think I was like top of, it was like number eleven in the highest grossing animes of just this 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 year. Um, and with the exception of Gundam Bill Fighters, which is like doing a resurgence in Gundam, the last couple of Gundam series haven't been that good. Um, they weren't done by Tomino, which is probably why. By the way, he's come back to do another Gundam series, and like I found out about it, and I did squee. Like a little girl, like ah. <laughs> but anyways, you know, I mean, remember he's he has stepped away from Gundam for a very long time, and he he's still up at the top like that. Okay, I just realized something. Hmm. You said that he called out Attack on Titan. Yeah. None of the other crap that came out this year got called out. Just Attack on Titan. Well, from what I heard, because um, I I haven't read all all about him because it's all in Japanese, like in kanji and crap. Mm. Um. But he does this like regularly. Like he 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 does come out and talk about other series. So but he only called out Attack on Titan this one time because he I, I believe he made a post about it and then he was interviewed specifically on that because they, they knew that'd be a hot button hot button mm -hmm. issue. But he has called out other people. I, just I think that that's when. reverse praise. I think basically he's telling you be better than what you are. I think that what he's saying is that you've got an interesting story here, but you're not you're not committing so yourself. No, to he it. said it was murder porn. Okay, well, I tried. That was that's like that's what he said. <laughs> I tried. I tried. He called it murder porn. <laughs> um, but I think but see, but I think, but it, but I think he did this because it was it was the the breakout hit of the year. I mean, so it it was. Um, but but even if he did call it other ones, and I'll, I'll do some research later on to see if he fought if he you know uh, talked about other people this year too. But that was the one that they wanted to interview him on because that was the one that was going to get people talking about it. Now, and why would people? Why would he want to talk about that? Titan? Yeah. Because this I the one Well, why would he want to talk about it? Why would he want to talk about it? Because the anime he saw that he saw or he saw that he saw that he thought it sucked. Yeah, yeah. But why else would he want to talk about it? Because he feels he did the story already? 
That would be the. <laughs> that would be that. Okay, yeah. so a lot of people have been bringing this up since Titan uh, blew up in over over in America. Um, is that if you look at the formula of Attack on Titan, it's basically like a Gundam series. You've got the main character who's like 16 years old, whose dad had some something to do with making this giant power thing, and specifically, it's like Zeta Gundam. In Zeta Gundam, Camille's dad helps make the Gundams or whatever, and the Gundams are shipped to uh, um, to the Titans, which is a military force in, in UC Century. And then he steals the power, or the Gundam, from the Titans, gains that ability, <laughs> sort of, and fights against the Titans. Um, I, I, I've seen that compar- comparison made to... Um, I mean, there's some kind of... I mean, I, I guess if you look really hard, but I, I don't think he structured it after the Gundam series. It just... Sort of. I mean, that's actually place. that's actually the the um the plot to the recent Thundercats TV show also. So I mean, I'm just saying. Thundercats. Yeah, I'm just saying, you know. By the way, Cartoon Network, you suck. You okay, anyway, suck. you do suck. Though. <laughs> um, but, but I mean, but like, I I don't think he's threatened. I don't think he's doing because he's an old man or whatever. I mean, he, he's on top. I mean, he's at he's at that level where you can just chill the rest of your life. Yeah. Like 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 for example, Jack like Nicholson, and I see. They're done. Like they've reached the level. Like I have achieved greatness. Yeah. I can now just go to Laker games <laughs> and watch them get beat horribly because Kobe's nothing now. Oh, you didn't say that. I went uh, there. You went there. I went. I went we there. are in I Southern California there. right Dude, I now. I went there and built a house to live there. <laughs> okay. By the way, quick Cartoon Network rant. Look, if you don't want adults to like your stuff, don't put cool adult crap on. Leave it away. If you if you want to just run like like the, the things that were drawn by monkeys that have no plot and then and then keep it on for kids, that's cool. Don't okay cool shows. Okay, I'm done. I do want to give them one one prop, not props, one singular prop. They are bringing back Samurai Jack, which uh, did you watch? I watched Samurai. Yeah, Jack. Samurai back, Jack was pretty cool. He's back in the past one more time. It's gonna be amazing. I'm just hoping to see the end of the season of Beware the Batman. You won't. It's gone. Nah, they'll bring it back, but then they'll play it at like 2 p.m. <laughs> you know, when nobody can It'll be one episode a month. But, uh, <laughs> so anyways, uh, that's that was that whole thing. Um, and I, I kind of agree with them that art is bad for a monthly manga. I mean, Full Metal Alchemist was a monthly manga, and that mm-hmm. art was amazing. Naruto's art is pretty good, and the story sucks, and it comes out every week. Mm-hmm. His is a book that comes out once a month. What's his excuse? But he's got a lot of pages, though. No, all monthly mangas have that many pages. Ah, I'm trying to help. No, nah, I'm mad. But look, here, here. <laughs> yeah, personally, you know, as an artist, I, I, I looked at his art style, and I mean, you know, I, I'm not the greatest artist ever, but I've looked at his art style, and I, I, I will admit that his art style for this book looks a lot like what most of the people who I know's pencils look like. It's hard. You know, when, when you do the, when you do the pencils, mm-hmm. um, when they're not refined or anything, that's kind of what they start out looking right. like. It's not what they usually the finished product looks like. It's like I don't know if he maybe left it off that part or whatever, but you know, like, I've had friends who are artists who have refused to watch the show because of because of the art style. Mm-hmm. There's no the the anime team really helps it out because I, I watched the anime first and went to the manga and I was sorely disappointed. Because it was just so different. I mean... Yeah, they, they, they've refined it a lot from from, from the uh, manga to the anime. They, they refined a lot. Yeah, I mean, his art style is just exceedingly rough and just not good. To the point where, and I've seen this on other, on other forums too, people were saying they can't tell what's going on. Now, Titan was big before the anime. You know, you know when it started as, as, a, as a manga. Mm-hmm. So people were clearly able to follow it, but... It I, it may have just been lucky because the concept was so deep. radical and deep that people were able to, to. I mean, like like when I read it every, every month, I I muddle through it anyway. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean not anymore because orders from on high from Tomino, he is deemed it unworthy. But <laughs> it just it's rough. he'll be okay by season two, ladies and gentlemen. He he'll, he'll be fine. It's fine. I, I watch the anime. I watch the anime because I have to, but I can't I can't read the manga anymore. Thing. I'll tell him about it. I'm gonna, uh, next, next week, something really cool is going to happen. <laughs> right, and I'll be, I'll, I'll be back in, and I'll be like, Tomino, please forgive me. Because <laughs> uh, I, still, I still haven't met him yet, and I will meet him before I die. This is happening. <laughs> but um, that's basically what happened there. Um, 
by the way, just reminding you, if you leave us comments or send us messages to our inbox here on YouTube, we cannot get the message because we are not on Google Plus and we will not do that. Now you can email us at offshootcomics at gmail.com or you can um, uh, find one of our other comments on other channels, um, on other uh, videos, uh, Walter Bryant, David Clark, our actual mm -hmm. accounts, our personal accounts. Mm -hmm. You'll see the logo next to our name um, and, and find we'll us that way. Yeah, and we'll, we'll, we'll answer you. Yeah, and if you respond to this video, we'll, we'll respond on that other comment. It may take a couple days, but we'll get to you. Absolutely. Yeah. Because we love our fans. Mm -hmm. Make sure to check out our app on iOS and Android. Just type in Offshoot Comics. And um, have a happy new year. We're still going to do the uh, our list things that we told you were going to happen. That's happening. Yeah, and we're still going to do the respect video. Yes. Sometime before the end of this year, we hope. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> until next time, we be your host, Kirby Kid. And Black Superman. See you later, guys. Hey, guys, don't forget to like, favorite, subscribe. And share our videos like crazy. That's right, because we love you, we want you to love us, and we want to keep making videos for you. And keep leaving us comments. We love comments. Yes, and we answer comments. Unlike some of the other guys, we'll get out there, we'll answer, and if you uh, have a great comment, we'll make a video about it. And if you have a not so great comment, we will try to address that issue. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, thanks. Till next time, we've been your host, Kirby Kid. And Black Superman. See you later, guys. <sighs> Let's do this. Let me, uh, this on one of my favorite anime series. You don't have to disown it. Oh, I really do. He, Tomino has commanded it. That order has come from on high. <laughs> <laughs>